Hello, it's Machine Dana. I hope you're doing really, really well. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can stream from OBS Studio into Discord. So that is taking a whole scene or different scenes from OBS Studio and plonking them into Discord. It's just another way of being able to take essentially an OBS Studio feed, the whole thing including a camera source and all the other sources that you might have in OBS Studio and placing it into Discord. Now this doesn't just work on Discord, you can also use it on Microsoft Teams, Skype, well basically you can use it on anything that uses a camera source. Now this does require a plugin but in the video I'm going to show you what that plugin is, how it's used and how you can set up the filters to enable you to stream stream from OBS Studio into Discord. My Discord community has grown loads lately, so if you want to join it, feel free to click on the link in the description. If you find this useful, of course, you can hit the like button and help me out a little bit. If you want to subscribe, feel free to do so. Let's go. Quick word from my sponsors and partners, Owned.Pro. If you didn't know, Owned.Pro is a one-click installation plugin for OBS Studio. It's an exclusive tool for OBS Studio that allows you to one-click install a load of different overlays that Owned.TV provide. You can browse all the different overlays within the Owned.Pro shop, but there's also a load of other tools you can get from Owned.Pro as well. Timers, you can get custom commands, copyrighted free music through Owned.Pro, and you can add a load of other things to your stream for example stream alert even countdown timers it's a brilliant tool made especially for streamers and the best part is if you use code machine at checkout you will get 50 percent off your order click the link below and check it out okay so you will need to obviously have obs studio installed to be able to get this to work because it is an obs studio plugin that we're going to install to then send the obs studio feed to a different application let's say discord zoom Skype, Teams, whatever. Now from there, what you need to do is actually install this OBS Virtual Cam plugin into OBS Studio. Now I have got a separate video which I'll link on the card here and in the description below of how you can install different OBS Studio plugins. Once you've installed this, you'll essentially get access to a new filter and also some new camera things which I'll go through in the video. But it's really essential that you have both OBS Studio and this plugin installed before we're able to get the feed to work from OBS Studio into Discord or any other application. So here I am in OBS Studio and as you can see here I'm actually using this camera both in one version of OBS Studio which I'm recording in and this version of OBS Studio which is a separate version of OBS Studio. Now I've done a separate video all about virtual cam and using the same camera across different applications including for example across two versions of OBS Studio or even using one camera feed in both OBS Studio and in Discord. But in this video, I'm going to be going through how you can actually get the full stream of OBS Studio into Discord. But it is really interesting just to say that you can actually do that. So I'll link that video above. It basically allows you to use the camera in more than one location at the same time and prevents Windows from locking the camera because it essentially creates like a second version of that camera. We're not going to use that today. Once you've installed Virtual Cam, you now have, and we'll just right click here to show this, in filters, we will have a filter called called virtual cam as you can see here now you can add the virtual cam filter to any source so if you wanted to have the source itself available in discord or something else you can have an individual source available you can also add it to a scene so if i now right click this scene here that we're in inside of obs studio i can go onto filters and you'll see here if i put click the plus icon there's virtual cam as a filter so i'm going to go ahead and do that on this particular scene that i'm on within obs studio we can name it if we want so I'm going to just call this left cam portrait filter just something to give the scene a bit of a description click ok on that and now here we're going to select a target camera now when you install virtual cam plugin it will create these four target cameras now you can actually choose the program as part of the installation process to only create one or two or three i recommend choosing four then you just get a bit more flexibility now i'm already using target camera obs studio to make a duplicate version of this webcam here as i just demonstrated earlier so I'm going to target this filter to go to, let's say, OBS Camera 2. And what that means now is there will be a copy of this scene that will filter itself 
onto a new camera called OBS Camera 2. And this OBS Camera 2 acts like, within Windows, an actual camera. And that's why it's able to work cross-application. And that's exactly how we're going to then add it to Discord. Now, all I just need to do is click Start on this. Now, there is just one little quirk about this. Sometimes it reverses the horizontal of what the camera looks like. And if you find that that's happened, just click on Horizontal Flip here, and it'll flip it around in the application. And I will demonstrate this a little bit more clearly in just a second. So I'll leave that like that for now. I'm just going to quick start and it's really important that you do quick start on the filter itself. Otherwise it will not push this scene onto OBS camera two. But bear in mind what we've done here is we've just pushed everything from within this scene as a filter onto OBS camera two. Now, if we'd have added it onto an individual source, i.e. by going onto here, clicking the plus icon, clicking virtual cam here, we would add only the things from this specific source onto the selected camera. For example, on OBS Camera 3, it would only have this particular source. As it happens, this source here is actually a scene, so it's a little bit confusing, but that is essentially a source instead of a scene that's being used. We could push it to Camera 3. So it just means if you've got a specific source only that you want to push as a camera feed into Discord or into Zoom or into Microsoft Teams, you can, in fact, do that. So here's my Discord server. Feel free to join the discord server now what i'm just going to do is jump into my main voice channel here within this voice channel here what i'm going to be doing is essentially streaming the feed from obs that we've just created which is like a virtual feed i'm going to stream it as though anyone else could watch so these guys in the channel below me will be able to see exactly what i'm doing in obs studio now assuming that you have pressed start in this filter here and it's really important that you do that if you don't press the start button the filter will not push to the virtual cam we we'll just click close on that and now when we go inside of, of Discord, we can see the feed of that whole scene is being virtually pushed here. And that's because I've selected OBS Camera 2 as the feed. Now, I did say that there was a little quirk where it can sort of horizontally flip it. So I'm just going to go back inside of OBS Studio. I'm going to go onto this filter again. I'm just going to click on the horizontal flip, which will flip it around inside of Discord. And now when we go back into Discord, you can see the camera's on the right hand side and the writing is the correct way around. That is literally it. Now, this program is obviously Discord, but you could do the exact same thing by selecting OBS Camera 2 or whichever you've sent the virtual feed to within Zoom, within Microsoft Teams, within Skype, within basically any program that you want to use a virtual camera for OBS Studio. It's a really, really powerful tool. Now, I'm sure you'll agree this is a great tool to have, but you're probably wondering, well, why would you want to push just OBS when you could just stream OBS? Well, the quality of this is going to be better because it's a direct feed of OBS Studio rather than me streaming it from my monitor. And that's because the monitor resolution might be slightly different to this resolution here, and you can get some degradation on the feed. Using a virtual feed directly from OBS Studio Studio will actually help the quality and it also means that you can then go onto your desktop say for example here I can go on and look at my desktop and it means the feed in Discord is not affected by what I'm doing on my desktop here. So it's a little bit more private and you're specifying exactly what you want to see on Discord or Zoom, Microsoft Teams or whatever it is that you're using it for. So there you go. Hopefully you did find that useful. I'm sure you'll agree. Super, super flexible, dead easy to set up and it just allows a really clean feed of your OBS studio into something like Microsoft Teams or Skype or of course into Discord. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit the like button and have a great day. Take care.